everyone, and welcome back to Robin Hood Coins. This is TJ, and we're going to be hunting a box of nickels today. We're only going to be hunting one box because we still have not gotten boxes from the bank since the coin shortage. This is from our reserves, so we're only going to hunt one box, and we're going to spend a little extra time looking for errors and varieties. We'll be using the Rob Finds Treasure nickel hunting mat, and my little helper has one as well. Plus, what else do you have, little helper? And I also have these microscopes that Yada99 gave us. Thank you, Yada99. Yeah, that's right. They're going to be using those scopes. We're going to be taking a little extra time looking for errors and varieties. Hopefully, we find some buffaloes, silver nickels, anything to add to our collection. As always, we'll give away something from the hunt. In order to enter the giveaway, just comment on this video and then be sure to watch our Saturday winner's video every Saturday at noon to see if you won. Well, my little helper picked this box right here because there was a couple oldies that she wanted to cherry pick those rolls herself. So let's see if we can find something good. All right, the very first roll and a little helper thinks she might have... A silver, I think think that one's one, or maybe that one. I All right, let's get that him. That might be a possibility, but I'm going to start with this one. Let's see. It looks rusty to me, but... It's just a 1989. Okay, let's grab that other one and see what it is. There it is. Right there. Let's see. A bubble! Oh, what? oh my gosh! What? And it has a date! And it's a 20, it's a 1928, wait, no, six. Uh, that looks like a 1920, oh, we'll have to check that under the scope. You oh, should look at it under yes. there and see what it is. Oh, this is so cool. And we will look at that under the scope, but here, real quick, let's, let's see that one a little bit better. Whoa, look at that. What? That is awesome. I knew it was a buffalo or a silver. How it do you just, know it was a buffalo? I didn't know. I thought it was like a silver or a buffalo. I thought because it looked really like a buffalo or a silver. That is awesome. Whoa. Good job, little helper. Hey. Here is a close-up of that buffalo that my little helper found, and it is a 1926. That's what we determined under the scope. And that she used her microscope. So that is awesome. It has been a while since we have found a buffalo. We were working on roll number eight, and Maid Marion over there had just handed me two 1950s. We have a 1958 Denver and a 1959 Denver. Oh. And a 1941S. Nice. I think I love the 1941S. Any S. That is good stuff. And the little helper. Found a 1941 Philadelphia. Working on roll number nine here, and these do not look very silvery, but there are two that you can notice that could be. So I figured I would record it just in case. And that one's not at the 2011, and that's at 1998. All right, this is turning out to be a pretty good box because we are working on roll number 11, and my little helper was over here cherry picking, looking for a good roll. And look at this. We have a 1939. If it has a mint mark, it is a key date. Let's see. Nope. It is a Philadelphia. But it is still over 80 years old. That is cool. And very, very, very rare. That is cool. It's not very rare. Not the 39 Philadelphia. But a couple rolls ago, we also found this really nice uh, 1966. It doesn't have any steps, but figured I'd at least set it aside just in case. And we had 1958 Denver that my little helper found. All right, we are on roll number 24. And a little helper handed me this coin right here. Mm -hmm. And did you check to see if I had a mint mark? No. Because... If it doesn't have a mint mark, Ooh. it's a semi key date. That's what I figured. You didn't look for the mint mark. All right, flip it over. Let's see if it's got a mint mark. It's a 1955. Denver. And it's a Denver. So it is not the semi key date Philadelphia. But still an oldie, so we'll take it. It is still an oldie. And a couple rolls ago, the little helper found this 1948. 
from a, Philadelphia I as found, well. I found a lot of other coins too. And we found a couple of 58s and a 1953. Not very uh, uncommon. That's why I didn't record them when we found them. But pretty cool that we've gotten three from the 40s so far. I was just about to open up roll 35 and my wife handed me this beautiful 1970 San Francisco right here. And I feel like it looks like our proof. So I had the little helper grab us our red book. You're welcome. Thank you. And according to the red book, the 1970 San Francisco, there were proofs and non-proofs. So taking a look at this, it doesn't have like a deep cameo or frosting, but that just looks like a deeper strike. I do have another 1970s, honey, if you want to compare. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look how thick that one is, too. Doesn't it look thicker? Yeah. A little bit. Not much. But the strike looks a lot better. I just can't tell if this is a really super clean... 1970s or if it's a proof 70s i think it's a proof personally comment in the, in the comments below if you have a 1970s and if they have a frosting or a deep cameo or the, the the mirror finish anything that would help me to determine if this is a proof or not I just opened up that roll roll 35 that I was just talking about and we found a buffalo Wait, let's see if it's older. No, I think it's a 30. It's a 35. Yeah, no, 30. Looks like a 36. It looks like a 36. Let's check under my scope. We'll check it under the other scope and let's see also if it has a mint mark. I think it might have a mint mark. And here's that buffalo. And it's, it's a 1936. We checked under my scope and there is no mint mark. Yeah, but let's see right here. There you can see it. That mint mark would be right here. And it does not, I mean, it almost looks like right there could be a D mint mark, but I don't think so. I think that's just dirt and uh, causing a shadow. All right, Maid Marion and I are working on roll 48 and 49. What'd you find? Woohoo! I found a 1945. Good job. First silver nickel of the box. Mm -hmm. That is great. It is a Denver. Denver mint mark. Beautiful. Great job. I just laid out roll number 50 right here and Maid Marion handed me another 1940s. This time it's a 41 San Francisco. Second 41 San Francisco of the night. And over the past couple of rolls, we found a couple more 50s common ones, 1953, 1957. I think there's a 56 in there. Let's see what this last roll will give us. We're all done with the rolls, and now it's time for the second hunt. We're going to check these coins right here for errors and varieties. We are looking at the 55 Denver for the D over S. The 2004 Philadelphia Peace Nickel for the Double Die Obverse. There is a Double Die Reverse uh, on the 1964. And then we have a Speared Bison in the 2005 Denver. We are all done checking for errors and varieties, and unfortunately, we did not find any. But here is the overall wrap-up, and I am pretty excited because this was a really good box. We have not had a box like this in a while. So we ended up with two buffaloes. These are the oldest of the box, and this is the 1926 right here from Philadelphia. That was a cool one. And then we had the 1936 to go with it but that is pretty cool both pretty clear dates then we had the 1939 philadelphia and we had a silver nickel we had a 1945 from denver that my wife found made marion that was really cool and then we had that really nice 1970 san francisco can't tell if it's a proof or not because i'm not sure if that year had the frosting or the mirror finish, but 
definitely do not find 1970 San Francisco's looking like this very often. So that was a pretty cool find. In addition to the 1945, we had four more from the 40s. At three 1941s, in fact, we had 11 1950s and four 2009s. The Robin Hood Coins giveaway for this video is going to be the 1945 Denver that Maid Marian found, as well as a 2009 Denver because a lot of people comment that they have a hard time finding 2009, so I figured I'd throw that in there. As always, to enter the giveaway, comment on this video, and then be sure to watch our Saturday winners video, Saturdays at noon, to see if you won. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed the hunt. It was a lot of fun, especially hunting as a family and finding some buffaloes for the first time in a while. If you did enjoy it, smash that like button. If you enjoy our content, please subscribe. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you don't miss any giveaways or videos. And we will see you on the next hunt.